What's up, man? What it do, man? The subscribers going up. Appreciate the love. I got another fly video dropping. As you all know, fly been on a timeout for a second. He had some uh, health issues he had to deal with, but he had these shirts that uh, Barry Hunt and them helped put together. They like a 50 year commemoration, you know, just for a brother. They was giving an honor to him for doing 50 years without breaking and surviving after having life sentences. So if you want to support Fly, you know what I mean? Just tap in. It'll be some of these shirts right here. In this upcoming video, we got Fly talking about a legendary dude by the name of Peace Tree. He's one of the best boxers to come out of Lord. He sent a lot of shots out to uh, youth center guys, wrecking crew guys. So nevertheless, man, like, subscribe. Share the channel. And uh, you got any questions for a flower, any boxing questions, anything like that that you know you if you're interested in uh true crime and prison stories, man, drop comments in the bottom of the box. You know, let me know what it do. Free to real, appreciate the love. Anthony Peace Tree grew up with us in the juvenile jumps and uh went home season now, go to Bank Ride, went over to jail. And we didn't okay and we said Man, Peachtree over DC, they're training with them old times, man. They say he's sharp as on the Peachtree, Joe James, Chick Clemens here. All them on juvenile rank. And uh, they say he's sharp like that. Man, when I got down you center, I thought that was a different dude. Sharp, tricky. So you seen him work in juvenile? Yeah, but it couldn't work like that. No, no, no. <laughs> you, you, you saying it like I know, but juvenile. <laughs> He'll so fight. I, he can fight. He'll fight. There's a difference in being a fighter and a boxer. All right. So when you seen him in juvenile, you already knew whatever you knew. And then what was the difference, comparison wise, from when you last seen him to you seen him again? When you said, I seen this dude over, you said I'm like, Whoa. I, I said, Good God Almighty. I said, Damn, tree shot. Wilbur Cook said, I told you. He said, it's I told you. Based on work you seen in the ring. In the ring. Then he's going uptown. He, and he's going uptown fighting. Uh, uh, he won the Golden Gloves the same year, 72 when Wilbur Cook won, Ray Leonard won, Larry Ann. Uh he was tricky. See, when he can't see, here's the thing, Eon. What you learn in the juvenile joint is different what you learn down you center, because when you get to you center, it's grown men. Grown men. You know what I mean? And I'm talking about man. It's, it's some dudes down there, man, that could that been overlawed. Had to come back and finish the youth center. So anybody can't come back there in that in, 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 in the locker room in the sweat boxes and you center. Say, can I go back there and watch it? You gonna put them on? No, nah, we're staying there and play ball then. You know what I mean? So uh he started working with uh uh Tim Mosley. And Tim Mosley was sharp, man. So, when I used to get in the ring with him, he used to get me. You know what I mean? He used to get me. And uh, so when we got over Lawton, put none of them with me no more. And uh, one day he sold me some death. He said, I taught you everything you know. I said, you shouldn't have taught me. Because everything you taught me, I use it on you now. <laughs> but I loved him. He was one of my best friends. And uh it's like Chick. Chick used to whip my ass every time we fought. When we got off Lawton, uh Charlie Wise Bay and Black Papa every day say, Chick, you keep telling me that's your little cousin. Ain't nothing new about flat. That motherfucking hit. And I said, put him on, Chick. He said, man, pull them punches. You're hitting too hard, man. You know what I mean? See, you, you got to grow into your own. You got to grow into your own. And, you know, and if you got the natural ability, and I told you, it, it's, it's a brother on that picture with us, uh, light skin, oh, oldest Anderson Bay. And uh, light skin, tall, slim. Him and Peach, we grew up together. He's the only Lord you similar. Love. Where's Petrie from? Southeast. And uh, Old Man Kaya is on the other end kneeling down on that Lord and But O was my best work on all them pictures. Chick, Frey, 
Chick Frey, Black Shade, O was my best work on all out of all them dudes. On and the heavyweight on there named Michael Dozier Bay, he was our heavyweight, and uh, same trainer Charlie Wiseman. He called me out one day. He said, "Man, I'm on fight fly." And they said, "Set it up," you know. He put posters all up in the business hall. He told my mother, "Hey, Miss Gaff, I'm gonna whip his ass, sir." And uh, she said, "I will see." <laughs> she said, we'll see. I said, you just made the biggest mistake you ever made, uh, Doja Bay. I whipped his ass. I whipped his ass so he didn't even come out of the second round. Told my mother it was a woman. <laughs> but you know, you go through that man in them jumps, man. You go through that. But you, you, you hone your craft. You hone your craft, man. Man, if, if dudes could have seen Wilbur Cook and everything, they just say, good God of mine. Damn sure they ain't got no business being locked up. Larry Pringle. I love Larry Pringle. Got in the ring with everybody. Me, bro, this peace tree. It shorty has. And I remember when he first started up this year. Shout out to Larry Pringle, man. I love you, man. I need to get with you, man. I heard you been sending word to me, Pringle. I love you, champ. Uh so many brothers, man. Uh Come through that jump, man. Supposed to be champions of the world, man. But believe it or not, Leon, I'm getting so much love through this everywhere I go, especially with the boxing matches. Every event I go to, they get in line and want to take pictures. Champ, champ, I want you to watch my fight. I said, I'm going to watch him. You know what I mean? And uh, Barry Hunter, man, man uh, 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 who got head bangers. Man been beautiful to me. I goes over to the gym and watch his fighters and he be telling me who gonna be the next champion after the Lamont and Anthony. Barry, my man, man, that's my family there. He been taking care of me, looking out for me. So at the end of the day, people want me to get my own gym. And uh, that's what me and the guy talking about that I told you just stole that event where Ray was at. He said, man, they waiting on you, man. You know, but I'm recovering. Uh, I should be good in another eight, nine days. I should be back, back on my feet, and uh, we're gonna be all right, Ian. Let me ask you this: At that event you went to with all those legendary people, there, you know, me and you spoke in private. You mentioned a few up and coming. Do you know any names, people to watch from the DMV area on the boxing tip? Yeah, they got a youngster that's fighting November the ninth, man. Uh. He undefeated, Derek Dash, or uh, uh, son. I can't remember. Uh, Michael, I've been telling Michael, I had everybody wanted them to show up at this fight, man. I'm going to send you the poster. He young and up and coming. I'm going to support him. But the main one, the main one I want people to watch is this youngster, Barry guy. Uh, his father seen me walk through the door. And ran and hugged me, man, and went home, got a shirt for me, said, man, told his son, he said, this is a living legend right here. And I'm going to send you the picture. And uh, somehow or another, he went down and showed the picture to me and him to see. And, and she said, that's my family. And uh, this youngster ain't nothing but the truth. I'm talking about he's a dog. And... Uh, I'ma send the picture of the man here. But he Barry got some bad fighters over there, man. You know, and they keep on wanting me to come over there and work out. So once you hit the miss, once you hit the miss. So Lord knows best.